Is this the end for the Chelsea Football Club after the owner, Roman Abramovich, who is a Russian, have been sanctioned by the UK government? Some people have actually said that this happened when the club was on the brink of being sold to a Turkish billionaire. What is going to happen to the Chelsea Football Club? This is what we're going to be looking at and why so many Africans are so aligned to this club. What's so special? about Chelsea. Hello and welcome to JCTV Africa. As we look at issues that are happening in Africa and especially in Zimbabwe. Today we are taking a little bit of a detour. Forgive us for digressing. We are looking at one of the biggest news that, that made headlines, the issue of Roman Abramovich, the owner of Chelsea Football Club, being sanctioned by the UK government. Obviously, it is because he is a Russian, Russian national who people believe that he is connected to the current president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. And most of the people that are around Vladimir Putin, the oligarchs that are around Vladimir Putin, most of them, they have been sanctioned. And Roman Abramovich was part of that. Though to some, they think that it is unfair for the club to bear the brunt of the actions of another man who has nothing to do with the purchasing of Chelsea uh, by Roman Abramovich in 2003. It is something that is painful for the supporters, obviously, and we hope this impasse can be resolved soon and tickets can be sold. However, I love the resolve that was shown by the manager, Thomas Tuchel, after winning a 3-1 against Norwich last night. He said that in a quote, As long as we have enough shirts and a bus to drive to the games, we'll be there and we'll compete hard. Now, why is it that most African fans are so much glued to this club and they feel that the, what is happening to Chelsea is unfair? A lot of things have happened, have happened over the years. A lot of African players that are playing in the Chelsea team are the contribution to that. The first one that can come to mind is Didier Drogba, the likes of Michael Essien from Ghana, the likes of Samuel Eto from Cameroon, and the likes of John Obi Mikel from Nigeria. These are some of the biggest names that you find in the Chelsea history in the past 18 years. These are players from big, uh, big national teams like Ivory Coast, Ghana and Nigeria. We also see the likes of Baba Rahman, Bertrand Traore, a lot of a lot of African European players who are in the Chelsea setup. The likes of Claude Makelele, Florent Maluda, the likes of Nicolas Anelka, Romelu Lukaku recently, and uh, Trevor Chaloba, Antonio Rid Rudiger, and many more. Even the current goalkeeper of Chelsea is African. That means that the respect that they find or the likeness that they find in football of some, one of their own playing for a big team like Chelsea is what makes African fans to be united and say we want Chelsea not to be involved in the saga that is happening in Russia. But anyway, I believe that it will be for the, great, for the good of the game if they allow Roman Abramovich to be still the owner of the club allow what is happening in the world of politics to crumble a good performing team like Chelsea. Obviously, there are a lot of people that their livelihoods will be affected if that happens. Imagine the players that are going to leave. Some of them, they might not go to their clubs that they wanted. They always wanted to be at Chelsea. And if the sanctions continue, it means that they are going to be affected financially. What is going to happen to their careers? Uh, what about the staff that is at Chelsea? What is going to happen to them? In, what about the club as a whole? Why do they have to bear the brunt of a decision that is made by someone who is not involved in politics? Tell me what you think in the comment section about this whole issue. As an African, I'm not trying to look at color, but I'm looking at it from the perspective of any African brother who supports and loves Chelsea like me. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.